Good evening, everyone. Um, I wanted to talk a bit more about frame duplication or deduplication in this case and uh, interpolation. So, as some of you may know, the editors, I'm going to generalize here, um, generally remove duplicated frames or stuck frames um, that happen in animation in order to have a better output when it comes to interpolation using different applications generally the whole editing community likes to use flow frames even though uh, there are probably better ways of interpolating now i made a video recently on how to upscale and interpolate anime using ai the proper way whatever the fuck the point is what i want to show you today is or rather tonight is um, how to basically do it in a automated faster and better way now i do want to mention that this is not foolproof this has a maybe 95 percent accuracy so maybe maybe um some of the times the output may have residual frames I'm gonna show you first and foremost what we're doing. So I have here a file with a well, rather folder, actually here. So I have the first clip. This is a clip that I manually edited and duplicated the frames in. This one has a one duplicated frame. So for each original frame, there's a duplicate, right? I also have a one that has three duplicated frames. So it is four times slower or basically in order to uh, fill in that 24 fps folder so original duplicate 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 new one duplicate 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 new one <clears throat> i exported this into this folder and i'm gonna use this little code that i wrote is it's pretty simple but it's really really effective i'm gonna explain what it does so you have here a variable called directory it takes in the input so you copy this and then just paste it in here there you go get a get list of all the import files this does get another variable it will get each uh mp4 file within this directory so from this directory it will take each and every mp4 file you can change this to mkv av1 avi sorry or whatever you want you name it this will loop through the each file in the list so basically it does for each file for each file in files this one so for each mkv or av1 or mp4 file it will get an input file this is the these ones and an output file then do this little code from using ffmpeg uh, i do want to mention this is not an ffmpeg tutorial there are much many many actually many many tutorials on how to install it and how to edit it to paths or rather system variables or system environment variables this is not going to be a tutorial on how to install ffmpeg this is this already assumes you have it installed so ffmpeg the input file that we talked about vf this is the command for filters mp decimate so what mp decimate does is it takes one frame takes a frame a or frame one and compares it to frame two three and four and so on let's assume this one is a completely different new frame so it does a comparison if it's equal so these are duplicated it does a calculation if it's equal then it cuts this then it will take this frame and look to the other one the next one if they're equal it cuts it then it does this if these are the, these are different which in this case they are it will no longer cut it and this one or rather the a value comes this or whatever the point is it will cut out the duplicated frames my english is dying i'm sorry <clears throat> set pts is for uh, in order to avoid any variable frame rate issues so basically if one second has maybe i don't know 10 frames 
and the next frame has this one not the next frame next second has um maybe 11 frames or 12 frames so it won't have any issues um you just set it as a constant frame rate so each second has a appropriate frame rate based on averaging everything out an is for audio or no audio i believe so an output file is the this one so this will take the file base name or the base name of the file and add to it a filtered or deduplicated or what you want to call it let's say duplicated mp4 and here let's leave it to mp4 now you can copy this all go in here right click and open a terminal you must open a powershell terminal just saying powershell shell if you can't open that just look up powershell and open it in here i'm gonna show you actually how to open it so i'm in c drive i'm gonna go to g drive cd cd until you get to the base of uh, g uh, c drive i'm gonna do g if we go in here cd best ffmpeg commands and cd youtube test Boom. and we are in this folder you can right click it it will auto paste everything and then just enter and it will do this automatically now do know that this is pretty slow depending on your cpu and the input file resolution all of these files are 4k and it isn't exactly the fastest thing in the world but it is really effective so we have a deduplicated output deduplicated output deduplicated output for each file mp4 file let's drag them in so as you can see this one and this one that had was duplicated so it has one extra frame is only half the length comparing it the two so they start off the same way maybe this has a bit of color shifting some that's pretty interesting anyway going to the next frame this one already has none but this one is still on the frame before this one is still in the in the scene the same thing should happen for the three duplicates one this should be only four times the length yeah it's one fourth of the length sorry and it has all of the frames removed or the duplicated frames so yeah that's basically it you can do this to any and every mp4 file or mkv file you just um, dump the bin change this and add this one so copy you copy the directory or path of the file you put it in here you just select what you want mp4 mkv avi whatever in here you put whatever name you want i'm gonna leave it to the duplicated for the sake of this tutorial and it just it will magically do everything but anyway this is really really fast and really good a really good way and secure way to do everything of course in if you want to check it in um what is it called in after effects if there are any leftovers you can always do it anyway a bit of a shim shameless plug here uh, i started a community around upscaling anime so i will do I do basically upscaling for hundreds, thousands of clips. Let me just show you. Oh, dear God. So I have Evangelion here with hundreds, thousands of clips, whatever the heck. And you can just come in here, look for the file, download it, and it's ready to go. It's 4K, 24 FPS. Let me show you an example. This is basically what we're doing yeah anyway you're welcome to join have a good evening thank you for watching bye bye